Okay, welcome to session number seven on January 7th in 2024. I thought that was so significant that we are on a seven, doing our seven session. So thank you all for being here. I'm excited. I, I, I thought we should use today as a check-in instead of going into talking about publishing because it's been a month since we've been together and I don't know what you guys have been doing. Well, a couple of you all joined me on the writing marathon, so I do know about a couple of you. But um, before we get started, um, are you open to breathing with me for a few minutes? Let's Indeed. breathe and get centered. Okay. So just if you, I'm, I'm going to kick my shoes off so I can put my feet on this wood floor. Landy, I'm going to make you a cold thing, thingamajigger, co-host, in case somebody comes in when my eyes are closed, unless your eyes are closed. <laughs> okay. All right. So if you could just make sure that you're relaxed, nothing is around your waist so you can breathe. And then just really hold your back up. Make sure your spine is straight. And then just exhale all of the air from your body through your nose. Pushing in. Then inhale through your nose. And hold. Two, three, four. Exhale through your nose slowly. Deeply pushing in and hold two, three, four. Breathe in and hold two, three, four. Exhale, relaxing, pushing in. Wonderful. Breathe in hold two three four exhale two. now just breathe in normally allowing the relaxation to go through your body. Let's just do a physical scan, starting at our toes, telling our toes to relax. Our feet and our ankles are relaxing. Feel the relaxation go up through your calves, through your knees, up into your thighs. Tell your body to relax, staying with your breath. Moving into your buttocks, pelvic area. Noticing the sensation of relaxation going into your abdomen, your lower back, your middle back, your upper back. Still breathing and relaxing into your chest. Through your shoulders. Allow your arms to relax. Your hand and your fingers. Moving your fingers and relax. Breathing and allowing relaxation into the back of your neck. Into the nape of your neck. Relaxing, allowing the relaxation to go up from your neck to your face, your jaw, relaxing your jaw, relaxing all the way behind your ears, letting it off, relaxing your eyes, behind your eyes, breathing and relaxing your forehead, Breathing and relaxing your scalp. Letting go. And now just feel your entire body 
the freedom you lack, allowing yourself to be present into your body, into this moment. And now just do a quick scan and see if there's any place on your body that needs attention. If it does, go to that area and just breathe and tell that area to relax and just let go. We're just grounding ourselves into the space right now so we can freely receive each other and expand in our conversation. Relaxing and letting go. Remembering ourselves as writers, communicators, people that make a difference in the world by how we talk and share our ideas freely. We believe in ourselves, we believe in our message, and we believe in profit. All there is to do is to produce the profit. And that's what we're here to do. So just relax. Bring you back to this side of consciousness. Allow yourself to breathe deeply in and out as you awaken to a fresh vibe of writing today for this evening. Come back alive. Move your hands, rub your body, we're waking up, coming back. You can remember this process when you get in the bed. <laughs> oh, didn't that feel so good? You know, I have to have that. You know, I would I would have kept going in if the fire truck wouldn't have went by. <laughs> yes, thank you for that. Well, before we get started on our agenda, I want to introduce our newest MFC coach. Well, she's not new to coaching, but she's new to this recertification process. Mama Tess, will you come in and tell people about you and all of the glorious things you have been doing because you don't let you don't play with us, right? So we got to play more with you. There you go. <laughs> so unmute yourself and come on and tell us. Oh, Shay, thank you so much. Wow, <laughs> that's a total honor <laughs> yeah. to have you said uh, saying that. So this is the funny thing about this. Master Teacher and I, we have been looking for each other for years. Years. <laughs> <laughs> so after I uh, get um, my uh, certificate in 2017, is that correct, Master I, Teacher? I, I thought it was 2017. 2017, yeah, 2017, yeah. Mm -hmm, before 2017, I uh, uh, via um, the advice of my good friend Tammy, uh, who is a um, master coach. Yeah, um, she for should be coming in here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, she was just like, you know what, you should, you should go through, and you should get that, uh, you know, inside your being. And I was just like, nah. Because the first thing that was told to us was, you are your first client. Yeah. <laughs> and so that part, it was the one that really had me like, no, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> At least not every day and not all day. I, I had some things going on. <laughs> so now that's good. Now that's good. I hadn't thought about that right. Because it's like, I don't want to be looking at myself. That's good. Yeah. Woo, that was the hard part. 
So it wasn't the getting clients and, you know, yeah, I could definitely tell somebody else, you know, how to look at that mirror and, you know, check yourself. But then I got to tell myself that every day, tell we're going to have a problem. <laughs> I got a problem with that. Okay. A problem with that. <laughs> So, yeah, so it, it was much needed advice, though, and much uh, honored advice, mm -hmm. uh, especially to uh, get oneself clear in regards to mission. Yes. And so there was a lot of, uh, in the term that I've come up with for myself, and um, which is the name of uh, one of my books as well, Dying Daily is Divine. Oh, hey, that's one. That's one you're working on getting published now. Ooh, yes, I love that. And um, it just takes you through your whole Sankofa rites of passage process, mm -hmm. and, and lets you know that each stage of your life, you have been doing this all alone, and we do it every day, whether we want to or not, via our skin, our hair. Our, our body already has this uh, program into our DNA. Yes. So that helped me tremendously to be in this space of traveling, uh, having these uh, great revelations about how we are to do this work. And that is not only for people, we get to do this work for land. Mm. We get to do, yeah, and and and, and so many that takes the the whole pressure off of where am I going to get clients? Clients are everywhere. It, oh yes, clients are everywhere. Absolutely, everywhere. Mm -hmm. As long as you're aligned and attuned mm -hmm. with what universe has given you, as a coach, mm -hmm. as a pointer, as a guide. Yes, because that, that's basically where we you know, boil it down to for ourselves. <clears throat> and so uh, with that thought process, I've been able to work with a lot of the elders uh, in the neighborhoods um, to, uh, I, and I, I want to say honored, I was honored to travel with them and see how they do life. Uh, they have not embraced retirement. They just say, we no longer work on this. <laughs> We no longer work on that. And then now their community work has superseded everything that they do. That is so, wonderful because that's, you know, I used to tell people what's missing are the grandmothers and the grandfathers. Yes. Absolutely. In the community. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And they're not gone anywhere. No, they they're just, just sitting there on the soap operas with the clickers. <laughs> Exactly. And they, you know, they give from, from that place of, you know, being seated and mm -hmm. from that place of honor because they feel like they are the ones not being honored at this time. Ah. So that's another thing that I would like for us to uh, really explore on connecting. We will talk about that later. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many of, uh, and I want to say us because I'm over 50. I'm, I'm talking about the over 50 gang. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Versus the under 50, because everybody under 50 feel like, oh, yeah, I can still. Nope. Your children have already said that you on your way. <laughs> your, your children, if, if you got grandchildren, they have already pushed you in yeah. a certain lane to go mm -hmm. that way. So, uh, yes, uh, in my first uh, bit of travel that I got to do was with uh, Sister Tammy. We went to Ghana yeah. on a yoga retreat. And from there, I've just been traveling and uh, doing the coaching work with uh, professions uh, uh, such as the medical field, such as mental health, such as um, <clears throat> death dueling, dueling, being a death doula. Mm -hmm. And uh, that particular piece is, is really close to my heart because I had um, my daughter was... Um, in a very uh, interesting uh, situation to where she was dropping her one of her co-workers off and she was shot in the head. My daughter, daughter? When was that? This was in 2019. And how old is your daughter? She is now, uh, praise be to God, she is now 34 years old. So that happened... Uh, 
Girl, I didn't know that. That is, that's a book by itself. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And, and so um, that near-death experience, you know, just really solidified for me why I have, have to write the book, that dying daily is divine. Mm. Because I, along with other healers, uh, and I want to say holistic healers, yes. we were able to uh, get her out of the hospital off of medication within two weeks. Wow. Yeah, and so um, we're, you know, now... Uh, her and I, we're working out how we're going to talk about that experience because um, amongst that time, it was so uh, pivotal that she get the right healing, healers, uh, aromatherapy, uh, herbs. I mean, I just that. that's right. Yeah, and that and that just just pushed me into this place of like overdrive in regard to those that have experienced near death experiences had near death experiences yes. which is well since then the pandemic happened all of that everyone has been touched in regard to that subject that's right so, that's right mm -hmm. so yes and so we have um all of us have had these various ex experiences and we have had to heal ourselves mm -hmm. within these experiences. So that's what I'm so um, you know joyful to be in this space of now I can explore it outwardly. I, I thought it was so weird, uh, Rita, that, um, and I, I even, strange no, calling. Okay. Listen, I answer to all of it, because you know, in corporate, in corporate America, I'm Rita all day long. I, I'm like, who they talking to? Oh, me, right? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so looking forward to this because, you know, um, everybody's got a story. And especially since we had that, you know, worldwide shutdown, yeah. got a story in regard to that. And so, you know, us really going into that space, what they call dark or morbid, yeah. which is, you that's know, one. The, that's where the magic happens. It is where the magic happens when we. We definitely put that out of our whole in the entire being mm -hmm. that death is the end. Mm -hmm. No, it's no. and and as a matter of fact, this word is being proven uh, to be a lie all over the world. They're they're tapping back into the ancient ways of of doing the dead yes. and speaking about it. So that's what I'm interested in um, exploring more and more. And now we're open for it because people are like, oh, okay, well, this is happening. That's happening. And that hasn't, uh, <clears throat> that hasn't uh, caused people to retreat. They're actually coming out more and more. Well, yeah, I had those experiences. And yeah, I had those experiences. And I'm just like, well, how are the coaches going to get together and really uh, surround this, this mm -hmm. whole uh, love affair uh, is what I want to call it. Yeah, because you know, we did a, a deaf doula certification. I want to say two, two was it two years ago? Oh, I love it. Yeah, we we actually certified thirteen deaf doulas because my spirit said the same thing. Uh, you know that we have to support people in helping them to connect to their loved loved ones instead of being in so much grief because then the grief is going to take you out. Yes, you know, yes. it's going to stop you from breathing, you know. So, um, yeah, I did. I, I think 13 of us went through that that program. We certified the deaf doulas. Is that Tammy? Yay! Yes. Yeah, she said, yes, Sally and I participated last year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah. now we deaf doulas need to get together and we need to have a, a dinner. Yeah, we can do. <laughs> yeah, because you, it, it's so interesting, um, Mama Tess, that you're saying that because I'm actually moving uh, i'm actually packing now but i move at the end of this month to a 55 and older building something oh. that i'm like i'm not interested in that do, 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 do. they're gonna look at me like who does she think she is? you know so but because i want to be close to my grandchildren it was feasible right because i'm not gonna live with them right and yes. uh so when they were showing me the bit i said is that a classroom i said can i teach in that classroom <laughs> I said, they don't know what hit them. <laughs> I love it. I love it. See, and see how spirit is setting everything up. Yes. 
so that we'll be in spaces where they're open for that. That's right. And they're open for, you know, all of the holistic things now, herbalism, yeah. Reiki, you know, all of these things that were, were taboo and hidden. Yeah. Now they're, they're, they're going to them and they're, they're exploring them. Like they've been doing this the entire time. And that's why the, uh, the master teachers have to be. Have to, in we, we have to remember who we are because we're here, you know, master, to, master teachers are born. You know, we forget we come in as babies, but then you have to keep taking off the, we have to keep taking off the skin, dying daily, dying so that we can remember, let that go. So you can be this, let that go. So you, yeah, that's beautiful. Well, well, yeah. thank, well, thank you and welcome. And um, what we, we meet twice a month. So every other week, and then uh, we have buddies, you know, where we, and so it's, it's usually, uh, it's usually 10, 11 of us here. You would make 12. So um, we'll hook you up with a buddy and uh, yeah, and we'll go through the process together. And some people are scheduled to be ready to publish in the spring, uh, you know, because that's when the real new year is. And then some of us are going to be in the, in the, uh, in the, Summer, summer. Mm -hmm. depending on how 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 we land. So thank you, thank you. So we're we're gonna continue to get to know you over time, and and I want everyone to do a three to four minute update check in. Tell me where you are in this process. Are you writing daily? What's going on? You know, we need to pull our energy back together now because we've been on vacation for a whole month. OK, so we have to get back into the writer's mode. Are you listening to your and I'm, I'll send you these to uh, Mama Tess. Are you sis listening to your binaural beats and your affirmations? So we have to get back. So who's going to start? Who wants to tell me um, where you are? Hannah, I see you out there. Hannah, are you out there? I can start. Who is that? Who said that? Who says? Okay, you shares. Go ahead. Okay, so um, for me, it's been a little interesting. Um, as far as um, I've been able to solidify a time where I just write in the morning, and I've been using my journal. I'm not even on typewriter yet. Um, so I'm just I I I took your suggestion the last time. Um, when listening to Alanda right you said don't correct just don't correct. let it flow. Mm -hmm. so I've been taking um 30 minutes a day in the morning before my day starts um pieces of my journal based off that and so that's why I am right now um for each one of the chakras so again my book has seven chapters but each one of the chapters is like a short story so that's where i am with it um and explaining it's like a funny drama for each one of the chakras and then explaining how your emotional self is off balance with that so i'm still getting through the stories but i have like the heading for the chakras and i'm not really ready to read that but that's where i am right now Wonderful. And then uh, you share, you, you, do you have your writing system? Do you have a computer and everything that you can use when you're ready for that process? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I got a MacBook. Okay. A okay. MacBook. Okay, cool. I got Pixar.com. I got Bard. Okay. I got Just, no, no, yes. I, I, I also prefer to write longhand before I type. So that's, that's kind of like my creative process to get the connection going. So yeah, that's cool. Wonderful. And I watch myself because I kept you no know, scratching out I'm like no just flow just flow just so <laughs> <laughs> I you know um uh, I don't know if you've ever read conversations with God if you, anybody ever read conversations oh, with God? long time ago years ago but one of his processes he 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 was having nightmares until he literally got up and got a legal pad and start he wrote his whole book long hand on legal pad when he went to the publisher it was like a stack of legal pads wow 
And I knew about the left brain, the, the, the connection to writing, but I had never seen it like that and how he explained it. But yep, he just wrote and wrote and wrote, you know. So that's that's how I've always coached people too. Cause when people say they're uh what do you call it, blocked? What do you call it? Block um writer's block. Writer's block. It's usually because they're using the mechanical way on the computer, which is not quite the same for the creative process. And that's where I kept getting like, why am I not being able to do? And so, you know, I journal, yeah. but I said, let me start because I could just go with writing, just you know, all the thoughts and yeah. you know, my mind works. But once on the computer, it's like, I don't know, it, it there's a different energy. Maybe because yeah, I've well, been, you know, oh. there's plenty of prizes. You can use the long hand. You can also use the dictaphone. You can mm -hmm. use the voice to typing, you, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's a several different ways you can do that. Yeah. So, you know, practice all of them, you know, just so you can actually see which ones actually satisfy you or which ones are appropriate for the moment. Because if I have a thought going and I'm cooking, I may turn on my dictaphone and, and start yeah. talking just because I got a creative flow going, right? All, all times of the day, you never, like, man, I'm, like you said, it can come at any time. Yeah. So you want to make sure you grab that creative energy that's flowing. Wonderful. But as you say, our voice is required. So our voice is required. And you can see what's going on now. We are definitely required. Yeah. And you know what? One time, when I was kind of got up in the morning, my, my time to write, that's what I repeat to myself, your voice is fire. And so that kind of sparks, you know, the that's initiation for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. I, Thank, you. Thank you. Who's next? If I may oh. add what uh -huh. uh, you said, I'm Ushim Shoop. Yeah. Your voice is required, and uh, here's another good um, thing to say. Imagination activation. Yes. Mm. Yes. And to like Imagination it. is far more powerful than knowledge. Mm. Always. And, and it's, kind of, right oh, no. it's just, it opens up so much more in, in the, the uh, hemi-sync uh, process. Yeah. With the right brain. Activation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, thank you, thank you, Mama. Mama uh, I was going to call you Mama Moo, Mama Tess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you. Wendy, go ahead. I got you on three minutes. Go ahead. Okay. Um, hi, Mama Tess. Welcome to our group. Um, so where I'm at is I have notes for three chapters, and then and then I kind of set that aside. As things come to me, I I record them or I or voice to words in my notes on my phone. So mm -hmm. just anything that comes. So the other kind of two things are is, is a book that's already published that I have a chapter in, um, Unstoppable Women Overcoming Mediocrity. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So I have that. So the chapter that's in that is the the kind of the short story about um kind of dis discovering how controlling I was and and what that was like and kind of the 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 process where that was revealed to me and tools were given to me and kind of I kind of call it like old Wendy versus you know new Wendy right. uh, just how exhausting that was so so my own book kind of expands on that um on that one chapter and then uh, it's called, my book is called, That Wasn't Part of My Plan and Other Things That Make God Laugh. Um, so, so yeah, so that, all that. So then I'm also the working on the podcast mm -hmm. and the podcast is called We Sister So Hard. So I have, I have one recorded and not edited. And then uh, I've been meeting people um and which i will have men on it as well i've mainly been meeting women recently i'm um, really in these last two or three weeks that they start t sharing their story and i just go will you be on my podcast it doesn't 
totally exist yet, but it will. <laughs> and I want you to share the story. So I have a list of people. Um, and so, so that's where I'm at that, that as, as far as then bringing it into just into fruition. Sounds yeah. good. I love that you're actually getting your your list of your guest list together. Yes. Yes, that's wonderful. Okay. All right. Who's next? Who's out there? Dr. Tammy, Hannah, um, Alanda, you all are off camera. Who's going next? Landy, you going yeah, next? I can I can I can go next, Musha Sue. Okay, go ahead, Dr. Um, yeah, I'm off camera. Just right before I just uh found out one of my friends had ascended. It's just so much happening. Uh yeah, someone I cycle with and you know, so like literally that that just came across somebody I just talked to, actually had just seen. So it was a little it, it just kind of took me back just a little oh, bit. So. I can feel that I'm sending you so much energy right now because it's the shock of it. It's the shock, like it, yeah, it's the shock of it. Yes. And we were talking about juicing and you know, all the healthy stuff. So, Same. so yeah, so I'm a little bit uh off today, but I wanted to definitely give an update. Um, so I have not like written anything over the holidays. Um, I have where I am is on inserting based on the feedback that you all had given me last time, inserting um, more examples of uh, personal experiences, um, especially in that first chapter. So to try to kind of grab, um, you know, grab the attention of the readers as I go into, um, you know, my, what my 50 year old self would tell my 20 year old self. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I'm not stuck because I have experiences. I think I just, uh, you know, over the holidays, I just have not felt creative at all. <laughs> you probably took a break like everybody else. Right? Yeah. Because, you know, yeah. That's, that's just what yeah. happens this time of year. Because this time of year is a go in time, but it's also yeah. a great time to write. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. and I honestly thought that that I was, you know, looking forward to that because I was going to be off work a few days and I was like, oh, good. I'll get to sit and get up and create because mm -hmm. mornings are my uh, writing times. And uh, yeah, I just hadn't been flowing. But I, I, I appreciate the advice um, you all stated in regards to the, you know, the typing because I've been typing my stuff. I just yeah. on the computer yeah. and I just, da -da 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 -da, you know, versus writing. Mm -hmm. so maybe that or digital text um, yeah sometimes it's just sometimes you have to use different forms you know to yeah. open yourself up but I, yeah I, the writing kind of gives you a little bit of an insight into uh, what did you call it a mama test the hermit what did you say the, <laughs> the, the imagine like station say it again Imagination activation. Imagination oh, yeah. activation. Hey, Mama Tess. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, love. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, she had just um, mentioned your name before you got on, too. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I can turn the camera on. I just, you know, just don't. No, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I can I can cut it all now. So yeah, yeah. So um, so that's kind of so I'm looking for I was looking forward to this meeting, of course, so that I could get get my inspiration back. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. um, yeah, everybody's texting me. Um, and be able to get get back going on this week. So yeah, but that's and and that's the idea, you know, even if you and remember we spoke about this last time to put it in your schedule to write even if it's just 15 minutes mm -hmm. because writers write so right. that's what we do it's not something we do later right is what yes. we do now yes. right so we have to schedule that time in All yes right? so so if you don't do anything after this call, pick up your whatever you use to schedule your time 
put your 15, 30 minutes, whatever that mm -hmm. is that you've decided you're going to commit to your project. Okay. Put that in. And um, the opposite side is I have been journaling. So, you know, mm -hmm. generally, you know, I, I'm challenging journaling. So that's why I was thinking I may need to just do the, the long hand. Mm -hmm. And keep her separate. You can keep her separate. I think, I, you know, as I pack, I find so many journals. I said, oh, I know. Right. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I was working on this. That's right. You know, all my projects. Exactly. I'm like, oh, this was 1990. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why you have to actually see them complete it because it's always good to have a great idea, but you have mm -hmm. to execute. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's why uh, we're doing this so we can get out of our head and get it into a yeah. problem. Yes, I appreciate this. Yeah, yeah. Hannah, are you there? Are you going to talk to us from Austin, Texas? She says she can't unmute. I'm looking to find out how to uh, unmute from the phone. Oh, hold on, let me see. I tried to unmute her. I just said, asked to unmute. Oh, and she can't. Uh, let me see. So I'm looking on. I'm looking on what to do on the phone. Uh, how do you unmute on the phone? Oh, hold on. <clears throat> Let me see. Um, okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yep. Okay. okay. <laughs> so it works. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> so during the holiday, I really didn't do any work or journaling. I had, you know, had people. However, I was able to do a lot of uh, self prospecting and introspecting, sorry, and go deep and do meditation mm -hmm. uh, early in the morning, wake up. And uh, one of the things that for my, uh, I would like to do a short book, but also the uh, podcast. So the first one, I like it to be about prudence. And the reason I say about prudence, uh, it's a virtue. And I, in prudence, there's a lot that I need to apply to myself. Um, one of the things is to say less. Because usually when something happens, I'm kind of outspoken. I have to say my opinion and say, you know, like what I think when it comes to family. But having to learn to hold back in the sense, is it necessary? Mm -hmm. And what, um, and how is it gonna land? And how can I say it in a more compassionate, um, soft way where a person can hear it? And I think um, we are all on autopilot in our responses, I think. We automatically respond, yeah, and we don't hold, you know, we don't pause. And I felt like this is important for me, uh, at least also with my family, is to hold the pause, and not because I'm afraid of speaking, but to really hear what there's what the other person say, because the second one, what I would say in my podcast, the second name will be listening is an art of, is, a, is an art, um, is a gift. Mm -hmm. When we listen to people, mm -hmm. it's a gift mm -hmm. that we're giving them. So I came up with two, prudence and listening is a gift. So now, is this still inside of, because you, you had a title for what you were working on. So are these titles? Healing, yes, it's, it's uh, piece by piece. Yeah. So these are two chapters inside of piece. Piece by piece. Okay. Wonderful. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Yay. Because I feel like I'm healing piece by piece. Um by going inward and reflecting on things and um, how to be, how to show up for me. Mm -hmm. And if I show up in a certain way, I'm also helping others to show up for me the way I want them to show up for me or my boundaries 
that I haven't been able to express or say that I'm not okay with that. But by changing me and my reaction, I'm helping them at least to change the way they react to me because I am changing the way I'm carrying myself. Does that make sense? Yes, and there it is very courageous. That is huge because you're talking about retraining your community. That is huge. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can shortly give you an example is I haven't seen my grandkids in a while or my son who's married and there's been a lot of hurt and pain because I felt like um, somehow I was used or whatever, whether with him, his wife or whatever. I sent a text message over the weekend um, a couple of days ago uh, last week asking if we can have time. We would like to invite the grandkids uh, alone uh, to have lunch with them. And I said, if they don't have, and I've never done that before, because usually I say, hey, we want to have the grandkids. I had to think how to send them. And I said, we, if, there's, if you guys don't have any plans for the kids for this Saturday, we would like to invite them to lunch because we would like to spend some time with them and connect. Please let us know if you, it's okay with you guys and you have no plans. The answer that came to me from my son's wife was, we'll let you know. Um, I was, I felt, I'll be honest, I felt anger inside because I thought, what does that mean? We'll let you know, period. Because usually people would say, well, yeah, they have something. No, we don't or something like that. Well, well but yeah, my, but you already said that there was hurt. So you can hear that he's still yes, hurt. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so part of my learning I would have uh, the old Hannah that is not aware and not working on myself. I would have responded back, uh, well, what do you mean? Uh, let me know. <laughs> but I didn't respond at all. Good. I didn't respond at all. Good. At all for the whole week, I did not respond. Until my son on Friday called me and said, you're taking the kids tomorrow. And my answer to my kid, my son was, I did, the last message I got from you guys was, we'll let you know. So I assumed no answer is an answer. And I assumed the answer is no. And he said, oh, I had no idea that she did not respond to you. I said, no problem. Well, he called again and third time and fourth time in the same night saying the kids will be there tomorrow. Oh. I was proud of myself. I was proud of myself because I didn't call as usually I would have and say, so have you decided? So what is it? What? And that's what they I, were anticipating. That's good. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's exactly. I thought the old Hannah, the expectation from them that the old Hannah is going to be calling and it's going to be asking. Well, he had to even send a message and text me, go like, what time do you want them? Because usually also I would have said, you know, have them at this time. And I said, what time they eat lunch? And he said, one. And I said, okay. And I left it that the next day, Saturday, didn't even call, didn't even ask who's going to bring them, what's happening. My daughter-in-law called at 12 and she goes, Hannah, I'm going to bring the kids. They're getting dressed. And we're gonna, I'm going to bring the kids. I go like, okay. But when I have, I that have That frees you up. Now you got to find what to do with that extra time. <laughs> well, it empowered me that, wow, I, I'm changing me mm -hmm. so they can, and they're seeing me in a different light that, oh, she's not calling. She's not blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But I felt free. That's I really felt free inside. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, and that that would be a good story for the book too. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's a teaching. That's a teaching moment because a lot of us need to hear that because we we just kind of want to hurry up and give me an answer right now. Sometimes people got to think about it. They got to work out what they got to work out. You know, very cool. All right, Alanda, you're the last one. Thank you, Hannah. Um, I feel yeah. something about Hannah's. Hmm. Uh -huh. I was just saying when she was speaking, it's like because she relinquished control, she actually gained control.
control. Yes. In a different life. Yeah. Absolutely. I like way. that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's freedom. True. That's right. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's where I felt free. <laughs> Are the dogs still barking, Landy? I can't nope. hear you. No, I did. I muted myself. Oh. <laughs> I was muted until it was done. Um, so where I have been, you? huh? I said, where are you in the process right now? What's happening with you? I read. I well, I went back and looking over my notes that I've been like journaling. I'm mm -hmm. re, re. I'm re gonna revise the chapter that I last chapter I read. Mm -hmm. Um, I started looking at some things and I've. Say I owe it to myself to tell the real, tell us, tell an actual, not a fictitious story. And it's not fictitious; it's somebody else's. But I know one that's a little better, and it's um, and I was just say my mother's story, good, uh, because it's similar to that mm -hmm. story, but not, you know what I mean. So I just start recounting some things and just re revising that, um, and then re like like my chapters and things. And uh, I've been doing a lot of journaling more so than writing yeah. because the, the ideas that I had when I started the book years ago and what I'm doing and what the work I'm doing now is has shifted my perspective, right? Absolutely. Uh, so the perspective is like, wow, you know, it's, it's just totally mind-blowing so the last few days I just had an opportunity to really look at um some things and and see my um what is it like where I you know I mean I say fit but how I fit in the grand scheme of things with everybody else's work and so well, you, you the, know that's really but, but telling your mother's story I think is going to give you access to another level of healing yeah you yep. know, I can hear that. Yeah. And then, because when I did that, I started looking at the story about the school, the school bully. And then I reread that story. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, did I really write that down? Like, that really happened? You know, I'm like, because I've been telling the story about how, they, you know, like this, this girl bullied me. And then it's an incident that happened. And when I read it, I'm like, oh, I need to rewrite this right so and um, that's why it ties back to my, the story of my mother because yeah. I get to tell the story I, I wanted all these stories to kind of like connect back to the blues to the sweater right and yeah. how all of this yeah. so I've been trying to tie all that together so I was like yeah I gotta remove um the the retold story of somebody else and I'm like yeah I gotta do this because they gotta connect the dots have to connect in addition to the um, affirmation. So I'll just start journaling and re reading some things that I, because I have books all, you know, my journals all over the place that I had been writing over the years and as, as well as some new developments that have unlocked another thing because this first week, I would just say that everything just like went, like, what is this? Like, why is this happening? Yeah. What, you know, and well, we have some fresh energy going on right now. I hope all of you are taking advantage of it. This oh is, my gosh, and, you know, and we are, what are we, there are no planets in retrograde right now until April. So this is like, this is why it's still important to be inside, to be introspective, yes. to be creative, to be planting your seeds, you know, so that when the spring comes, you know, you're ready for the bloom. <laughs> Yeah, and that's where it is because I'm not, I actually see my redirection and the work that I do as far as uh, in the community and part of me nurturing. There's a lot of things that you we tend to sit back and whatever, but that's something else. But looking at what we're doing, I had to really see like, how is this going to play a part, another part in a chapter of, you know, in the book? Because out here, these young children of color are having no advocates advocates i um mm. i witnessed a 12 year old get shackled to go to a detention center wow. on thursday uh the mom just broke down i mean it was just crazy how it all happened and so this looking and seeing this i'm like okay this no one's advocated for him because he's been telling the teachers over and over again that they bullying him he's native uh he's native and white and uh, he had long hair and somebody tried to cut his hair so this is this one like, okay yeah, so the bullying, like when I said, okay, this is mm -hmm. another form of bullying. How do I take this? Because it's not just being afraid, but what happened was how he got arrested. He showed them a picture of a gun. 
and oh. and uh this happened the same day the Perry the Perry Iowa shooting right so they had to like be you know they had to be renegades that day and get everybody that made any type of threat um but it was the day before when he got in trouble when he, it was the day before but then they brought the kids in that bullied him that told the story and they this is his the evidence against him so yeah, it's a lot of stuff. They say they went to the girl's house where we was at the police station. She had no idea. They tore the house up looking for a gun. They going back and doing it again tomorrow. We don't know why they going back. But these are the type of things I'm working on as I'm taking notes and I'm thinking about this and other things that transpired. I'm like, oh my God, this is more material. So I've been writing and journaling so I can gather my thoughts and put it back in the book. Put it back into now it's I can see like how yeah, did I work through it? Yeah, what's that's right. Yeah, yeah. Current day. Yep. Ooh, child. Very good. That's that you guys. Well, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I have decided to uh keep working on the novel, but also to write the book, The Path of Self Mastery. Because we just finished that series, and when we finished that series, that was so on fire. I was like, we get all the material, you know. So yeah, so I'm gonna write them simultaneously, you know. But I that I think the path of self mastery is gonna write itself because I'm gonna just you know use the each each chapter that the uh, coaches spoke on, you know. So that's that. Um, but be, what I want to do is a little exercise to ground us in this year. Uh, I don't know how many of you actually do use your um, destiny card book to see what you should be learning this year. You know, that's one thing to do, but that starts at your birthday. What we could start with at this year is that how many of you know this is an eight year? This is an eight year, right? And you get the eight year from adding two plus two is four plus four is eight, right? But do you know what your personal year is? So your personal year, oh, hold on, wait a minute, let me, I think I have it here, hold on. I'm gonna share my screen because I think that we each should do our personal year so that we can know what it is that we're working through and use that energy, okay? And, um, you know, because if, if you're trying to do something and it's not what you should be doing, it's like pushing a wheel up the hill, right? Doesn't it, Can you all see that? All right. Can you all see that? Yes. Okay. So, so the example of the birthday is July 13th. So you have the month is the seventh month. The day is one plus three is four. The year is two plus zero plus two plus four is eight. You add those together, you get 19, and then you have to get it down to one number. So one and nine is what? 10, and that comes to a one. So this example is the personal year of one, okay? So now, how would you do yours? So for me to do mine, my month would be one for January. The day is two. So one plus two is three, right? Plus eight is 11. Now, 11 itself is a master number, but we have to add it together. One plus one is two. So my year is a two year, right? And then... Uh, and I'll put this link in here so you can find it. And then they have this full write-up of the two year is a slow journey of connection, partnership, relationship, patience, attention to detail, cooperation, sensitivity. and Doesn't that sound like writing? <laughs> the whole process of publishing and writing, that's it right there. So now what I want each of us to do is to actually, I want you all to tell me what your personal year is, because then that's how I can relate to you all throughout this whole year as we do this work 
so that we can actually be in sync with one another. Okay. When do you did yours? Yeah. So you use the 2024. That's eight. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm 730. So I'm seven, three plus eight is 18 and then nine. So I'm nine. So you have a nine year. Yeah. Okay. All right. Who else is ready? Well, so, so if you're, I'm sorry. Go ahead, if, Dr. K. If, if your um, day is double digits, do you add that together or yep. you add it? You add that together. Yeah. So like minus 26, I'll add the two plus the six. Yep. Okay. I just want to make sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Mama Tess, you have yours? Oh, where'd you go, Ted? I thought you were saying. You I'm had... right here. Um, I'm on my phone. So if, oh. if I could give first to someone. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you need the birth month, the day. Yeah, which, yeah, which are birth month? Nine. Okay. Two. You're, so you're you're September 2nd? Yes. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's 11. I, oh, I think you're going to be... So that's 11 and 8. 8 and 9. 9 and 1 is 10. You're 1 this year. I'm a one year. You're one year. Uh, new beginnings. And I'm going to put this link. Hold on. I'm going to put this link in here. So you guys can find this link because she, I've looked at several and this one does a really great write up. That's why I like, I chose this one, but there's others. So uh, don't feel like you have to use this one, but this one is, uh, this one gave a really, it's the one that, um, that I, sh that I did with my family. So Rita, how does that work? You take the month, the day. Yeah, and so what? yeah, you add so hold on a second. Let me put this in the chat right quick. Command V. Boom. Okay. So now you guys can go and look and see. Um see where it is. You see it? Did you all see it? Did, did the link come in the chat? Well, I'm, I don't see it because I'm on my phone. Oh, you're on so. your phone. You, yeah. Okay. So what I what can I do? Um, Hannah, I'll probably have to uh, just send you send it to you. Okay, I'll text it to you. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, all right. So Hannah, if you so what's your what's your what's your month? Uh, the eighth, August twenty third. Okay, so it's eight plus five plus eight. So 16 is 21. That's three. So you're three years. My goodness, Hannah. My big mama's birthday is that day. Oh. <laughs> you said August 23rd, right? Yeah. No. He's a blessing upon her. Yeah. She's not in this realm anymore. Okay, gotcha. What's yours, you shares? Did you do yours? Seven. Ooh, you're seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um who else? Link in the um in the Facebook chat so I can see it on my computer. I'm actually on my phone right now. Okay, let me put it in there. That's a good that's a good point. Hannah, Thank I'm gonna you. put it in the Facebook group too, and you'll be able to see it. Okay. Hold on, let me go over there. Tammy, you still working on yours? No, it looks like mine is uh one also. So I am three, March 26. So three plus eight plus eight is mm -hmm. 19. One plus nine mm -hmm. is 10. And then one plus zero is one. Yeah. So I'm a one also. Tammy is a one. Mm hmm. Seven. Yep. Alanda, what is yours? Seven. Okay, you and the shares of seven. Oh, so that is so cool. So we have Wendy is a nine, Tess is a one, Hannah is three, you shares is a seven, Dr. Tammy, you are one, mm -hmm. Alanda, you are seven, and I'm a two. All right. So these are personal, you said, 
Yep, so. this is your personal year. Personal so year. I put the link in in the group. Okay. So click on that link. Okay. Um, you'll go to the year reading. And when you go to the year reading, you look for the one, the two, whatever that is that you are. Okay. okay. So that's okay. one thing. You're going to pay attention to your personal reading. Do you know what year this is for the Chinese astrology? Yep. It's the year of the dra uh, wooden dragon. The year of the wooden dragon. So you need to understand what your Chinese astrology is. And then you get on Google or internet or whatever and find out what that means for your year. See, this is this <sighs> is us staying grounded inside of our person because it's a lot going on out there. Yeah, but the, but if you're gonna be on your mission, you have to be on your mission and know it from your place, not yeah. from what the world is doing. I agree, sir. Right? Because we, if our voice is required, our voice is gonna come from oh, in person, here, sir. not from there. Okay? So there's different. All of us are gonna. I'm a fire rooster in a ten of diamond. So you know how I'm usually quiet. I'm probably not gonna be quiet this year. <laughs> I'm going to probably be, there that damn Moody is again. Why is she bothering us? So, Rita, if I am three <laughs> here, you mentioned something to go and look on the, for the Chinese calendar, what that means? No. So the, this year is the year of the dragon. Are you a dragon? Okay. Are you a dragon? What's your Chinese astrology? I don't know. Yeah. So the first thing you have to do, the first thing you have to do and you can actually Google this too. But you know this was part of the course, right? Yeah. Okay, so you, you can go back and look at your notes or you can also just go and look up the year that you were The born year and see what year it is, okay. And see what your Chinese astrology is. And then you look and see according to that, what is gonna be the energy for you during the dragon, wood dragon year. Oh, okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aretha, you're the earth rooster too. But yeah, and I'm a fire rooster, which means, you know, more fiery than the earth rooster. But earth and fire are very magical. Earth and fire is very magical. You know, that's why we get so much done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So I want you guys, I really want to encourage you to, if you have the destiny card books, pull out the destiny card book and really look and see what your 52 days are doing. How are you turning in those 52 days? Oh, that's good. That's right. And then if you don't have the book and you want to set up a reading uh, with me, I'll do that with you complimentary just for those people in this group. Okay. But this is, this is, it helps us to ground ourselves in our work so that we're not so captivated out there. There's too much going on out there. Y'all see? What were you saying, Hannah? No, I just found out I'm, I'm the horse, the year of the horse. You're the horse. Okay. And then you have to go a little bit deeper and find out if you're a fire horse, a water horse, a wood horse, or a metal horse. <laughs> Okay, so but can, what I don't get is what is the significance of your one year or three year or two or whatever? That's numerology. So okay. the link that so so this so Hannah the link that I put in the group. Yeah, it says creative numerology. That you will okay. go and look at your year number, and then you'll find one in that grouping, and you'll read that, and it will tell you what the significance of a one year is, or a three year for you. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Yeah, but Thank just you. look in there. Yeah, just look in there, and you'll be able to find it, okay? Okay, thanks. Yeah, so those are several different ways, because you you know you'll be surprised why our voices are so different. You know, yeah, the brain. 
Yeah, it's it's just the, the uniqueness of who you are is what you're bringing forward. Not just the product, but the uniqueness of it in the way that you see it, the way that you speak it. And that's why all of us can have people that can hear us differently. Everybody yeah. can't hear me talk. I'm clear with that. But they can hear you or they can hear you. But you want to make sure that you're cultivating this as you're writing. Okay. Any questions about those three? So you have your personal number, you have your Chinese astrology and what it means for the dragon. And you're going to pull out your destiny card books or either set up a time with me so you can look at what your year is like when you're changing over in those 52 days. So you can use that energy. Because if you're a queen of heart and you're trying to do something big, forget about it. Queen of heart is lazy. Got to use that time to sit still and chill out. Right. I don't know. You master your energy. Say that again. You have to master your energy in order to cultivate it properly. Exactly. Exactly. And you do that. It's like every day is not the same. And then women, you you know, we have three different kind of hormones. Men just have testosterone. Me and Tammy were talking about that. This, but we, women have estrogen, uh, progesterone, and testosterone, and it changes not morning, night, and day. So why do you want to be like a man? It is never possible. <laughs> it won't happen. Not at all. <laughs> Two points before we go. Good point. It's very cool. So um, our next session is scheduled for the 21st at six o'clock. At that session, it is my intention to have us listening to publishers uh, or, or people who can help us self-publish so that we can start listening for how we're going to, what we need to, to move forward with our work how much money we need to be setting aside, which you all should have been already be setting it aside, you know, and then what the process looks like because each of our works are different. You know, if you need illustration, you have to include that and that includes your cost in your printing because illustration is color. So you usually, you know, have to pay for that. But all of this is a is something that we want to put out there so that we have several more months to prepare for it. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll do that on the 21st. And if you need anything from me before then, uh, let me know, but please get with your buddies. If your buddy was not here tonight, please help them get their personal number, make sure that they understand their Chinese astrology and, and ask them to ground themselves in the destiny card work so that they are clear of who they are. Okay, any questions about that? You had a question, Dr. Uh -huh. Tammy? No, ma'am. Okay, all right, all right. All right, guys, well, I have what? some packing. Did Hold on. Here, did I move into Michigan at the end of this month? Yes. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Is that you, Yushez? Yes. I had two things I wanted to say before we depart. Okay. Um, one, um, mainly to Mama Tess and uh, Dr. Tammy, I put on some ancient wisdom about death into the chat. I think it would be very useful. I and, saw it. Uh, Thank you for that. Yeah. I did respond. Thank you. Yeah, I'm working on mastering that. <laughs> I'm not there yet, but I'm working on it. And as we continue to, you know, evolve, it gets easier to hear those subtle uh, connections that we have. Mm. And so that was one thing I wanted to make sure you all are getting that. And secondly, um, another point that Hannah kind of made, and I was kind of mulling over too, is that when writing a book, um, naming the chapters kind of helps in how the story actually evolves. It's like, what's the purpose of this particular chapter? Give it like a theme. So that but was you the remember, two. Remember, that's what we did with the outline. Do you need me to re remember the outline? We did that in the outline piece. Give a theme for the. um. Yeah, we gave it. Yeah, we gave it. 
we gave a, a title and a theme and then the the oh right 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 yes mm -hmm. yes I have to get back to that I've just been in my journal <laughs> yeah if you pull yes, that, that out very... usually that's what I do you know as I'm working because I don't work just straight down I work on right. different chapters at different times yeah yeah however it comes yeah however it comes it's like oh with that that's more in this chapter than what it is. But then you, even though after you write it, you'll be switching it around through the editing process anyway. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Thank you for that. And I yield. Yeah. So yeah, pull out your head, pull out your outline. That will help you in your- And beloved, you I will- call it a working outline. Right. Mama yes. Tess, what were you getting ready to say? Add to beloved, Um, I, I love your name, uh, you first of all. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wanted to say, you know, uh, you can start by doing um, a small thing like working through the stages of grief. And that that helps a lot within that process mm -hmm. because we're we're all grieving something, you know, and um, whether it's past, present or future yeah. <laughs> and um, working through those, um, just uh, look up. You can get it on the Internet. Five stages of grief. Elizabeth Kugler Ross. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and most of us get stuck somewhere in one of those stages, mm. and so that most of you know, the time is anger. <laughs> yeah, right. absolutely, absolutely. You know, I'm actually past. You know, I'm in the state of not missing, but listening to the ancestors once they trans over. So I'm getting more into just really listening to the subtle you know, energies that they still have, messages they have to give. Because when we have close people that transition, that's like, you know, like an ace in a hole for us, if we but know how we, to. Right, that's like, the work that we did with the deaf doula, really setting up altars and, you mm -hmm. know, putting a glass of water out, at, inviting them into the space, you know, because sometimes people, the grief will separate you from the person. Because yeah. you're so busy grieving that yeah. even if they tapping you on the shoulder, you can't feel but it because you get, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, yeah. And, and two places from perspective of listening yourself to life, beloved. Yeah. Listen yourself to life, knowing that this is this is uh the the most beautiful thing that could have happened to you because that means they are they are more than that are with us than those that are against absolutely i lost a bottle the other day and i told my sister are you are you playing with me <laughs> and she transitioned <laughs> a couple of years ago three five years yes. now. but i'm like i told my daughter today i said i think my sister playing with me you know but i'm good you know <laughs> It's a spray bottle of vinegar and water, you know, and I used it. And then all of a sudden it's like. Mm. Came up. I mean, because they will move things, you know, it's, it's, it's the whole invitation of it. Yes. And then allow yourself to open up even the more for that process. And then exactly. you'll, you'll see your mind will uh, you'll get right out of the way. Yeah. It'll get the way. Because we're we're wired for that. We're actually yeah. hard wired for this connection with spirit. Absolutely, especially because the the silver string is still there. Yes, yeah. yeah, it really is. All right, you guys, thank you so much. You know how I like to respect your time, so I'm gonna let you uh, get ready for the week. This is Sunday night. Um, I will put the uh, actual broadcast in the group once it's done. And uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Have a good night, y'all. All right. Bye, Bye, everybody. All right. Talk Peace. to you soon. Bye. Peace.